Peru, millinery country of a glorious past, has become one of the most dynamic and stable economies in Latin America. And this is the reason why it is now the fifth largest attractive destination for mining exploration investment in the world. Large-scale production of precious minerals derived from the country's natural wealth. It has a strategic location in the world that provides easy access to the Southeast Asian market and as a member of the Asia-Pacific Economic Corporation, or APEC, it benefits from the access to these markets. The primary goals of the Geological Mining and Metallurgical Institute, or INGEMET, of the energy and mine sector are to promote investment, to support development planning, searching for a better quality of life for Peruvians. These are achieved through a variety of activities, including providing geological information of the national territory, granting of mining concessions titles, administering the national mining cadastre, and annual maintenance fee and penalty. Thus, Ingemet, using information and communication technologies, have developed Geological and Mining Cadastre System, or GeoCatMet. GeoCatMet is an interactive system that gathers updated information on geology, mining resources, and mining rights of Peru, allowing mining investors to have access to the necessary information to make decisions. Up to the present, GeoCatman shows more than 70 layers of self-owned information, as well as information from other national and foreign institutions from the energy and mine sector, and this will continue growing. GeoCatman has developed a georeference information system with leading edge technology that is internationally renowned with dynamic and user friendly interfaces. The design of GeoCatman has surprised by the fast presentation of updated interactive maps with satellite images and layers that are easy to run. This system has used standard components that allow the integration exchange and interoperability with other systems such as the World Geological Map using the ISO standards when it implements geographic metadata and web services of maps. Geocatman Mining Potential Peru's mining potential can be seen in the metallogenic map that allows us a regional vision of the type of deposits, metals, and the mineralization age among other characteristics. Peru has an important mining potential and less than 1% of its territory is under exploration and exploitation. This can be seen in the corresponding layer of the map of mining projects of the energy mines sector. Metallogeny allows us to define the areas of economic interest that may become new investments in the country. It also guides mining exploration properly and reevaluates areas that were previously not considered as favorable for some metals. The information produced is updated based on the research activities carried out by Ingemet. The information displayed shows the great potential of mineral resources of Peru, a country that also has a high quality service in granting mining concessions throughout an efficient national mining cadastre system and with a legal transparency that guarantees investments. Mining cadastre is the inventory of the existing mineral rights. This information is constantly updated according to the information that is processed every day by instrument engineers and lawyers who conduct the evaluations. GeoCatman allows overlapping the created cadastral areas to get the most accurate information. GeoCatman also shows cadastral grids, official cartography sheets, and geological map sheets, which represent basic useful information for submitting an application for a mining concession over the national territory. The UTM system divides the surface of the Earth into 60 geographic zones and Peru is located within three zones, 17, 18, and 18 in the Southern Hemisphere. Thereby, the mining cadastre covers these areas. This system allows the overlapping of several layers of information, being one of the most important the mining project's portfolio, the metallogenic map, and the restricted areas for mining activity all of which contribute to the territory, reconnaissance, and the sustainable growth of the country. The layers of information are also integrated into the satellite images and can be seen with Google Earth. This service is provided free of charge to the entire international community. The titled mining rights are presented in blue colored polygons. The mining rights in process are in green, 
and the extinguished mining rights are in black. There are several quick and easy search options that allow consulting and accessing information from the graphic alphanumeric database and the files of the mining rights administered by Intermit. Information regarding environmental certification for exploration and exploitation activities can also be seen in the cadastrum modules. This information is provided to the title mining holders by the General Bureau of Environmental Affairs of the Ministry of Energy and Mines. This is graphically represented by an overlapping layer of dots. Injimit staff has developed tools for analysis, search, reports, maps, and statistics that allow quick and personalized access free of charge. An example is the mining rights search in our database. Access to the file, access to its geological information, studies carried out, current information in the area, and the ability to download it. Geological information. Peru is located in the Central Andes, a mountain range formed by the subduction of the Nazca Plate beneath the South American Plate. The interaction of these plates results in the formation of volcanoes and magmas, which have contributed to the mineralization of the land. In the geology modules, you will be able to see the geologic tectonic maps that are part of the National Geological Map. They show tectonic faults, quaternary deposits, and landslides. Geological maps have a wide range of applications, from mining and hydroecological exploration to oil exploration, including its application and importance in the ecological and economic zoning, the territory, disaster prevention, construction of large infrastructure public works, and its use to design national development planning strategies. Injimit, through GeoCatman, offers you the database of radiometric dates in the Peruvian territory with more than 2,500 rock samples, which is updated monthly. Bulgar anomalies of the Japanese mission have been compiled. There are measures adopted during the 40 years in the Peruvian territory. This information is used to study the Earth's crust structure and its application to the evolution of the mountains and their mineral resources. In Peru, for example, the great large gold resources like Yanacocha, Alto Chicama, and Pierina are on a thin crust compared to the south of Peru, where the crust is thicker. Thereby, these tools are important in implementing different mineral exploration strategies. In brief, based on the processing and systemization of the information presented here, a new metallogenic map of Peru has been constructed. As part of the territory planning, Injimit through GeoCatman provides maps that serve for these purposes. A hydroecological map of Peru has been prepared by Injimit with the purpose of improving the management water resources of the country through the identification of the areas with hydroecological potential that will help increase the hydric resource availability as well as to carry out important economic activities in the national territory. The hydroecological map also shows Peru's thermal potential with more than 500 thermal sources, many of them with very important mineral characteristics, which have contributed to the development of the balneotherapy, providing the communities with geotouristic resources. This information shows the geothermal potential of the country. Due to its geographical features and climate, Peru is constantly exposed to geological hazards, such as landslides, avalanches, and rock fallings. Therefore, these processes have been inventoried by Injimit and are shown in GeoCatman to be used in risk assessment when planning public investment projects. GeoCatman also offers information regarding active volcanoes in Peru and their influence in case of an eruption. The most outstanding case is the city of Arequipa, with approximately 1 million inhabitants and located at the foot of the Misty Volcano. The map of the spectral anomalies provides a general view of the mineralization of the territory expressed in layers of clay and oxide layers, which are important for investors. Injimit has developed useful tools for mining users, such as the geographical search of mining rights, search for mining projects, see the distribution of the annual maintenance fee, obtain graphic reports of the mining cadastre by regions, carry out a pre-evaluation of a new mining right, allowing you to enter the coordinates, 
see the overlapping layers with natural areas, archaeological zones, etc. An interactive user guide for GeoCatman has been developed to inform you about the use of the tools, which allows you to see the operativeness of the system step by step via web. There have been more than 100 million interactions since May 21st. Nationwide, all the regional governments have had access to GeoCatman. And 90 countries of the five continents have visited GeoCatman. Up to this date, we have an average of 250,000 interactions per day. The aforementioned confirms that Peru stands out as a country with optimal conditions for investments backed up by investment protection laws and by a state-of-the-art technology in the mining sector which is provided by Ingemet through GeoCatman. We invite you to visit Peru and learn about a variety of natural resources among which mineral resources stand out. Welcome to Peru.